Ball games in the refrigerator. Doors closed. Lights are out. But it's getting hard. What is back and Pizza, pizza, my name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we've got another show and tell jobby. This is more mechanic um, engine stuff related, and it is this bad boy. So this is a, and a lot of guys will recognise this, this is an MHH uh, torque wrench. But it's not in a torque wrench in the same way you imagine. On the dial we have um, pounds feet and we have newton meters and I'll take a picture of that so you can see and then basically what you have as well as you have this uh, maximum needle so basically you can place that down here and then as you apply a torque to it the needle sweeps and then pushes that max needle wherever your peak was and then it'll just show you this is not like the old standard torque wrenches where you basically it torque and then it clicks this basically just gives you a reading of what the torque is that's plastic. Um, the cool thing is, is that the company that makes this, MHH, still exist. They are owned by Godot. Um, they basically bought the Torque Leader um, brand and all the rest of it. They, but they're basically, they're, they're still there. Uh, they're the same building, same address, same old building that they've been in absolutely forever. So it says England, H M MHH England Co. Limited, uh, Bramley, Surrey, England. This belonged to Colin. <laughs> which it says uh, a few places. So it says there, it's scratched in the back, it says uh, Colin Derrick. And it says Colin Derrick there on the side again. It has a serial number, so it says B2272. Now you can basically buy brand new versions of this. It's hardly changed. A few of these pins have changed, but the thing has hardly changed whatsoever. And um, the torque leader one, it's basically this, it's in red. Uh, you can buy one brand new and um, their serial numbers are up into the 280 thousandths so this is 2272 so I don't know I tried to trace back um, where this came from what we're going to do is we're going to do a tear down on this as well we're going to test it use the torque tester actually see how accurate this thing still is after all these years um, it's non-reversible so basically you have two ends to it uh, this end and this end so if you want to talk that way you've got to talk on that way and if you want to talk that way you've got to talk that way yeah so there's none of this reversible switchiness very robust I have seen one of these uh, in the army actually weirdly enough in our workshop there's one of these big bastards um, but I think it's a bit bigger than this I think it might have actually been the same size um, but yeah just it basically gives you a talk reading not will click or what have you um, there's no settings to it. It's rather quite simple, simple handle, big beefy bastard. You know, this thing, as you can see, has had some, well, it's had a hard fucking life. And I imagine that the torque spec is still pretty fucking good. And this is the whole point. This is the difference between industrial tools and the wank that most of us buy. You know, this aluminium housing to protect the dial. So even if you fucking lay something flat on it, you're not going to crush the dial or anything. Hence why the plastic bit of whatever, it might have been replaced, it might have been smashed. I can see that there's a circle up in there. Um, but we'll test this. And yeah, do you know what? I, this, is, so this is the kind of thing that we can use for testing a lot of torque of things. Um, especially versus some of these new torque wrenches that see how good it, you know these things match up against this. Uh, there's the ratchet you can hear. And uh, it's just simply fucking awesome. And I can literally see. So basically, when you this is the the pivot and all the springs, and this is how you calibrate the thing. So this inner section here moves. You can see the arm there. There'll be a spring in there. When you push this, you can see how much torque. How well can you see that? There you see. You can see it moving. So that's basically how it gives you. A torque reading the ratchet is only one way this is basically just so you can ratchet torque ratchet torque it's just a, a back back ratchet um, but an awesome bit of kit absolutely fucking awesome we'll be able to take the whole thing quite actually on job fuck it let's take it apart now uh, uh. Um, it's a simple mechanism med for a simpler time what the fuck why would it be that size let's hope it's not imperial actually that'd be really bad Oh, and it is, you motherfucker. 
Do I even have any Imperial Island keys? I don't think I do. Someone will be commenting, oh, Matt doesn't have Imperial Catalan keys. This is a farce. What a fucking knob. <laughs> yeah, dude, whatever. Nah, I'm not getting this open. Right, we're going to have to get some Imperial Island keys. Motherfucker. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah, you know, a cool, cool, cool bit of kit. I picked this up for three quid. You know, you can't, the, these old tools and stuff. Some of them are absolutely fucking useless. Some of these things that I'm buying are just for the show and tell or just because I like them. You know what I mean? But like I say, I'll do a teardown on this and what have you. Hope that makes sense. Or I hope you like this and I'll see you in a bit.